We begin tonight with Vote 2022. Thanks for joining us. We're just days away from the primaries, and the Hudson Valley will set the stage next Tuesday for the highest profile special election in the country since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and will prove as a litmus test for Republican support heading into the November midterms. News 12's Jonathan Gordon is in our Westchester studio with more on one of the most closely watched races in the nation. So Jonathan, first, how did we get here? Well, Ian, this is a race to represent New York's 19th congressional district right now and fill out the remainder of now Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado's term after he resigned to take his new position alongside Governor Kathy Hochul. The Hudson Valley will host one of the nation's most important races this political season as Republican Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinaro squares off against Democratic Ulster County Executive Pat Ryan for the open seat in New York's 19th Congressional District. The winner goes to Congress until the end of the year. Molinaro has served as the Dutchess Executive since 2012 and lost as the Republican nominee for governor in 2018. He's focused on reducing federal spending, rolling back bail reform, and cutting down on inflation. The, these issues all converge at a moment in time where you know voters are are anxious and they're hopeful that someone's going to stand up for them speak out for them and go to battle on behalf of the district ryan has been the ulster executive since 2019 but his background includes two tours in iraq and owning a small business he wants to fight for abortion rights lower health care costs and invests in clean energy we have to stand up and fight for fundamental rights and freedoms that are being ripped away from Americans across our country right now. This race is among the first since the Supreme Court overturned Roe, and this race could test how important abortion rights are as an issue to Americans. Choice is on the ballot again in this race. Ryan supports much of the work Democrats have done in President Joe Biden's first two years, like the American Rescue Plan, Bipartisan Infrastructure Deal, and Inflation Reduction Act. While Molinaro says the government has been overspending, and overstepping. The government that is effective and smaller and more efficient can deliver better outcomes for people who struggle and need help. This is one of the most competitive races in New York with political experts giving Republicans a slight edge. And the prediction polls are mixed on this one. One supported by the Democrats actually shows that Ryan is down just three points, though an earlier poll by Republican has Molinaro up as much as 10 points. Ian? Interesting. So, Jonathan, looking ahead to November, how does this vote impact the general election? Well, this is where things get very complicated because of redistricting. Win or lose next week, Molinaro is running for a full new term in Congress in New York's new 19th district, while Ryan is simultaneously facing a three-way primary on Tuesday to be the Democratic nominee for New York's new 18th district. Send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Jonathan.